Hello, I'm Owen from Square Balloon, and today I'm going to talk you through um, the VLOOKUP function on Excel. And basically, that is a function that allows you to search through a table that exists, for example, this table, and might search through the names and bring them up a different value, for example, the sales value. So I'm searching this, but I'm asking for the value which is nearby. Um, so let me show you how that works. So what this might be something that's come out of your accounting system or CRM or sales system or something like that. Um, so I'll create another sheet and this is for um, my reporting what I'm going to do. Every time I start a formula I press equals and I'm going to use VLOOKUP. Uh, start typing it comes up, I can either double click or I can press tab. I press tab and the lookup value is the thing that I want to look up in the other table. I'm going to look up the person's name. And I'm going to hit comma and now it's saying table array which is where do we want to look for this data. So I'll come here and I will just go here. I'll go a bit further down in case we ever add another salesperson or something like that. Uh, so I'll press comma again. Now it wants the column index number and that is basically if we look at these as the columns it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And the important thing to remember is it's relative. So if I'd only selected um, these columns here then number one would be B and uh, number two would be C. And if I selected these two, then number one would be the first column that I've selected, basically. In this case, I selected all of those, and I want the second column, so I'll press two. And now let's look in, in column two. And now it wants to know true or false. And what it wants to know is, if it's true, it has to be um, sorted in ascending order. I don't want to sort these. I like them in the order they're in, so I'm going to press false. And then I'm going to close my parentheses. Oh, didn't work. Close my parentheses, and you'll see it's 12. So let's just go and check it worked. How many sales did Peter make? He made 12, so we're all good. Um, and the great thing is now I can fill this down and it tells me the other ones. And what I need to do is uh, I want to I want to make sure that this doesn't change. So I put a dollar sign in front of A1 and D20 because I don't want that to change. But if I fill across uh, should find that ah no, I want that to stay the same as well. I want it always to be searching for Peter. So now if I fill across uh, ah it hasn't filled the column so I would still need to change the column um, so this one doesn't work but uh, 40,000 4,000 just make sure that's right 40,000 and 4,000, so that is right. Um, so that's the great thing is, uh, on a lot of data, you might have loads and loads of columns, I've simplified it, but it's really useful that you could just do that and you can fill it down. And now, if I add in another, if I just fill it all the way down, um, if I add in another name, all right, and then I filled this down here. Now if I type in Peter, it automatically comes up. So I could uh, add in more values and my VLOOKUP is going to still work. Um, uh, you can combine it with an IF statement. So here I've done an IF statement and I've done a VLOOKUP and I've just said, uh, as you can see, it shows me again. So here's my logical test. So I go to the VLOOKUP, I find Owen, I find the data and I find column three. And then if it's above 50, then value of true is good and value of false is needs training. So again, I can just fill this down and uh, it will tell me all the stuff. So everyone's doing well. And then I've done it again on this one, so I can fill it down again. And everyone needs training. And on this one, what I've done is um, if, if, if one column is less than the other. So average sales value. So all I wanted to do was the sales value divided by the number of sales. So you can see Irene has done a lot of sales but not as much value as the others. So in this case, I could use the VLOOKUP to find that and check the average sales value. And now if I just drag that down, and then I can obviously, um, I can format that if I need to, just into pounds, and there we have it. Uh, a really useful formula. You can use it for many, many, many things, but it's a really good way of being able to search through another table, find the values, and bring back a different set of values from a different column. Uh, I find it really useful. I, c I can see many, many uses for it, so I hope it helps you too. 
If you do like this content, please subscribe and answer your questions in the comments below.